Hello my beautiful dolls. Today I'm focusing on an all purple look. So it's a purple punch. Just punch you in the face with a lot of purple. So um, I've been obsessed with purple lately because it just makes the eye color green and hazel pop. I'm using Stomp as my first base color. I'm going over it several times. You can... I like to use a lot of cream shadows usually to help tens intensify and you have better longevity. But today I'm going with a softer purple smoky eye. And I'm just using a blending brush. So you can use whatever blending brush you have. This one's for MAC. I don't remember the number offhand. But it's one of my favorites. And you're going to use a pencil brush and do a drop shadow on the bottom. I'm loving this new palette from BH Cosmetics. Um, I'm going to use the color Hollywood today. It's really, really pretty purple. And I'm going to just go ahead and pop that on the lid. Um, like I said, you can use cream and then use this on top and it will intensify it more. But today I'm going with the softer purple smoky eye. It'll still look really pretty. And you can keep putting on more layers if you want. I'm just going to pat it and drag it on the lid so using a flat brush. Remember, flat brushes will intensify the color. When you, when you want to put more color on, you're going to use a flat brush. When you... Um, want to blend the colors and use a blending brush. I'm using that stick. It's called Chella, I think. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. Using it on my waterline to make the eyes appear bigger. And on my tear ducts. Now I'm going to use it as a highlighter, a little bit of daytime highlighter that won't look too crazy during the day down the nose, um, on my eyelids. You can also use it as a concealer. Whenever you use a highlighter, it's going to make everything, pull everything forward to give that illusion that, that you have a, f a fuller eye, eyebrow, or I mean a fuller, not eyebrow, a fuller lid or a fuller pout to the lip. You can also put it on the bottom especially for those ladies who have thin lips. I do not have thin lips. I have very, 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 very full lips. That is Rice Paper from MAC, a really pretty color that you can use during the day. And I'm using it on my tear duct to intensify that a little bit. This is a color called Kaylin. It's the color purple. It's a gel eyeliner. It is pretty much waterproof. It stays on really good. I use it a lot on my waterline instead of just using the typical black and it really makes your eyes stand out especially if, if you have hazel or green eyes it really intensifies it i'm using another mac brush can't think of the name of it i think it's a 266 i'm going to do a very thick eyeliner today and just clean it up you can use concealer uh light whatever you prefer edge of a piece of tape i mean there's so many things i mean if you're not good at doing it straight first. I use that same gel on my eyebrows and in person it looks really dark but for some reason on the video it doesn't look as purple with the finished product. Using this purple shade for my cheeks to complete the purple punch and that fishy face you don't always want to do that. But I do it. Of course I have it. I'm using that color from Albatross from NARS. Love this as a highlighter. I, I use it to intensify my tear ducts more. Now I'm using this color from MAC. I don't remember the name of that one either. Um, I'm going to put that all over, your, all over your lip. That will intensify the color and it will also keep it from smudging all day. Stay on all day. I'm using a Dior color doesn't have a name, it has a number. I usually like to mix it with my Girl About Town for MAC. It is a very, very dark purple. Gothic purple, I would call it. It's, I love it. And I'm using that cello stick to give an ombre effect to the bottom and top of the lips. 
Alright you guys, so this is our final look. Um, it's a whole lot of purple. Like I said before, I'm going through this purple phase and I thought I would just pull the whole makeup look together with all purples. Um, I mean, this can be wearable if you're that daring. But at the same time, you can just do the eyeshadow, maybe do a different color lip, maybe a nude lip. Um, tone down the cheeks, not do the purple eyebrows. Oh my gosh, I lost my train of thought there. But this is sort of my purple inspiration. Feeling very um, inspired by the color and it, you know, it makes green eyes really pop really well. And it looks beautiful and gorgeous and I hope that you love this look as much as I do. Talk to you soon.